Okay, let's start. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my class. My name is Wang Zi Qiu. Please call me Wang Lao Shi. Starting today, let's learn Chinese together. First, let's look at what will we learn today. First, let's get to know Chinese together. Then we will learn the basics of pinyin. And finally, we will learn how to say hello to Chinese people. Speaking of China, what do you think of? Chinese food, Kung Fu, Panda, Peking Opera, High Speed Rail, Mobile Payment, Beautiful Scenery, and Chinese. China is a country with a long history and I'm very happy to lead you to know such a country together. Our story starts from Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Let's look at this. Ni Hao. This part is Han Zi. Han Zi. It means Chinese character. Han Zi. And this part, Ni Hao. Ni hao is pinyin, pinyin. Han zi, Chinese characters, are the writing symbols of Chinese. Through pinyin, we can know the pronunciation of Chinese characters. Let's look at this. Pinyin consists of three parts. This part. This part is sheng mu, sheng mu, initial, sheng mu. This part is yun mu, yun mu, the final. And this one, this is sheng diao, tongue, sheng diao, tongue. Pinyin consists of three parts, sheng mu. Initial, yun mu, final, and sheng diao. What's this? What's this? It is zhong guo, right? I think all of you know its meaning. And zhong guo, this one, is han zi. Han zi. Every Chinese character has its own stroke. This one is stroke. We call it bi hua. Bi hua. It means stroke. We write Chinese characters according to stroke order. The order of strokes, we call it bi shun. This one. The order of strokes, bi shun. Bi shun. Bi shun will make it easier for you to remember how to write a Chinese character. Okay, now I briefly introduced Chinese characters and pinyin. They are the basic. They are the basis for learning Chinese vocabulary. Now we will start with pinyin. Pinyin. Do you remember this? Pinyin consists of three parts. They are sheng mu, initial. Yun mu, final, and sheng diao, the tongue. These three parts. We will start from yun mu, yun mu, and all these are basic finals. Okay, first I read them one by one. You can try to read. Follow me. The first one. Ah. Ah. O, O, E, 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 U, 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 U. Uh, uh. Okay, when we read 
啊、uh, ，we should open your mouth widely. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, and when we read all, you can find that. Please round your mouth. All, all, and a、uh, first. You should keep a smile face. Then try to pronounce all. Listen. Uh, uh. Okay, this is ah,、uh, oh, and uh. This one, u. It's maybe a difficult for you. Let's look at this. When we read u, we should use the same tongue position as in pronouncing Chinese. E. Then draw your lips into form a circle as small as possible. Then try to pronounce it. U. 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 Okay. Now let's look at the last one. R.、Uh, this pinyin. The two letters form a single sound. Put your tongue and lips in position as when pronouncing "a."、Uh, then raise the middle part of your tongue slightly. At the same time, roll up the tip of your tongue backward. Take my hands as if it's your tongue, like this. "A."、Uh, Uh, like this. Okay, these are basic yun mu. You can read it after me. Ah, ah, oh, oh, uh, uh, e. E, U, 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 R, R. Okay. Now let's look at this compound finals. Compound finals. First, first let's look at this five. Listen. Ya, ya, wa, wa, wo, wo, ye, ye, yue, yue. This five. The second sound is louder and longer than the first one. Listen again. Ya, ya, wa, wa, wo, wo, ye, ye, yue, yue. Okay, now let's look at this three. Listen, I, I, a, a, ow, ow. This three, the first sound is louder and longer than the second one. Listen again. I, I, a, a, ow, ow. Okay, let's look at that last three. This three. Listen. Why? Why? 
way way yao yao these three the middle sound is the loudest and longest sound okay these are compound finals let's look uh, let's listen to the radio and try to read after it Okay, let's listen again and try to read after it. Yu Yi Finals one. Yi Yi Er Er Ah Ah Ya Ya Wa Wa O O Wo Okay, uh, please pay attention to this one. Wei is written as wu yi. The middle e uh, is omitted, but we should still read it wei wei for a uh, sound. The single final is different from compound finals. Listen. E uh, e. Uh, yeah okay these are yun mu we learned today now let's go to sheng mu sheng mu initials today we will learn 14 sheng mu 14 initials First, please listen to me. In order to make each pronunciation easier to recognize, I will add a vowel after each initial. Listen to me. You can try to read after me. Bo, bo, po, po, mo. More for for the 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 no no le le Go, 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 Okay, let's look at them one by one. Bo, when we read bo, you can feel that your lips are blocking the air flow and then suddenly open your lips let, uh, to let the air flow rush out of your mouth. But 
when read for your lips didn't block the airflow. Everyone, you can try to put your hand in front of your mouth like this. When we read for for your hand can't feel the airflow obviously, but when you're reading for for you can obviously feel the airflow. And this one for for when uh, when reading for please bite your lower lip with your upper teeth. For for this one. No, you should let the air out from your nose. No, no. Go. When we read go, you can clearly feel that the root of your tongue is blocking the air flow. Go. Go. The last three. Ji, qi, and xi, maybe they are difficult for you to pronounce. First, let's look at this picture. For example, it's your mouth. One, it represents your heart palate. Number two, two, this number, it represents the tip of your tongue. This one is your lower teeth. When we read ji, you should raise the front part of the tongue to touch the heart palate. And then let the tip of your tongue touch the back of the lower teeth, like this. Try to, pro trust, uh, try to produce ji by letting the air squeeze out between the surface of the tongue and the heart palate. Ji. Ji, ji, and this qi, when we read qi, its pronunciation is the same as ji, but it blocks the air flow in the mouth first, and then releases the block. Qi, qi, unlike ji and qi, when we read she the airflow is not blocked at all. She she okay. These are 14 Shengmu we learned today. Let's try to read them after the radio. Initial These are Sheng Mu and Yun Mu we learned today. Let's try this practice. In this, I will read one pin. You can choose from A, B, and C. For example, number one, if I read O, O, you can type B in your chatting box. Let's try. We start from number two. Listen. 
E, e, e. Very good. It should be A. Good. Let uh, number three. T. 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 Very good. It's B. T. I can feel the airflow. T. T. Okay, number four. G. 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 Correct. Well done. It, it should be A. G. G. Okay, the last one. Listen. She. 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 The alphabet is not blocked in my mouth. She. She. So the answer should be C. Okay. This is Sheng Mu and Yun Mu we learned today. Some people say that Chinese is a rhythmic language. This is because Chinese has four tongues. We can express the tongue with five degrees. Let's look at these four pictures. There are four tongues in Chinese. The first one is the, th uh, is the first tongue. We can call it Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng. It's the first tongue. This one, Er Sheng, Er Sheng. It's the second tongue. This one, San Sheng, San Sheng, San Sheng. It's the third tongue. This one, Si Sheng, Si Sheng. It's the fourth tongue. Now I will use Ah as an example to show you how to read four tongues. Please listen carefully. Ah, ah, ah. This one. Ah, 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 it's up. Ah, this one. Ah, 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 the last one. Ah, 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 it's four tongues. Okay, can you try to read E and U? Let's do it together. E, E. E, 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 Let's try U. First one, first tongue. Yi sheng, yi sheng, first tongue. U, U, U. Er sheng, second tongue. Er sheng, Wu, Wu, Wu. Third tongue, San Sheng. Third tongue, San Sheng. Wu, Wu, Wu. Fourth tongue, Si Sheng. Fourth tongue, Si Sheng. Wu, Wu, Wu. Okay, have you learned that? This 
Now we have learned 声母,韵母, and 声调. We have learned initials, finals, and tones. When we put them together, we can read one syllable. Let's try the first one. 声母 is 歌. 韵母 is 呃. 声调, the tongue, is this. This is the first tongue, right? Okay, let's try to put them together and read it. 歌, 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 it means brother. 歌, 哥哥, brother, older brother. 哥哥. The second one, 声母, initial, is 摸, 摸, 韵母, Ah, yi sheng, yi sheng. Put them together. Ma, 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 ma. It means mother, mom, ma, ma. The last one, sheng mu, initial is ji, ji. Yun mu is ye. Yeah. And let's look at this tongue. 声调. Which tongue? It should be the third tongue, right? So let's put them together. Try to read it. 姐, 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 姐姐. It means older sister. 姐姐, 姐姐. OK. This is pinyin we learned today. We have known that pinyin can, consists of three parts. Initial, 声母, final, 韵母, and its tongue, 声调, 声调. Not every pinyin has a 声母, but a 韵母 is necessary. With pinyin, now we can read 汉字, we can read Chinese characters. Like this, 你好, 你好. When Chinese people, when they meet with each other, we can say 你好 to each other. Okay, now let's listen to the first dialogue. You can try to read after it. 你好, 你好. Again, 你好. And between young people, you can also say, Hey, 你好. Hey, 你好. Maybe some students already found that 你好, the first one is the third tongue, right? The second one is also the third tongue. But Wang Lao Shi read it not 你好. How did I read it? I read it like this 你好. 你好, you can find I change the 你, I change its pronunciation. Why? Because in Chinese, if there are two third tongues, we should change the first third tongue into the second tongue. That's why I should read it 你好, not 你好. It's wrong. We should read it like 你好, 你好. Okay, now we have learned two new words, 你 and 好. Now let's read, now let's uh, learn some more new words. 你, it means you, it's singular. You, 你, only one person. And this one, 好, 好, it means good, fine, 好. And if there are more than one person, or two people, or three students, we should use 你们, 你们 is plural, 你们. And if you are greeting with your boss or someone older than you, you'd better use 您, 您 is a polite way to say you, 您. Okay, now please read after me, 你. 
你，你们，你们，您，您，好，好 ，OK。Let's look at this picture. Here, only one person, right? This girl. So we should say there's only one person. So we should use 你 right? If we want to greet with her, how to say? We should say 你好，你好。Let's look at this one. There are three students, right? So in this case, which word we should use? We should use 你们 good. 你们你们 And if you want to greet with them, how to say? Greet with them. We should say 你们好你们好 Hmm. Let's look at this. This person, he looks like my boss, so I should show my respect for him. In this case, I should use 您 right? And to greet with him, we should say 您好，您好。Okay, let's look at this picture. This girl, let's look at her. Maybe she did something wrong. She knocked over the milk. So in this case, she should say what to her mother. She should say sorry, right? Then how to say sorry in Chinese? This, 对不起，对不起，对不起。But her mother said it's okay, it's no problem, doesn't matter. So her mother should say, yes, good. 没关系。没关系，对不起，没关系。Let's listen to the dialogue. 对不起，没关系。Okay, you can try to read after the radio. 对不起，没关系。Okay. These are some new words we learned today. Have you learned that? Please read after me. 你，你，你们，你们，您，您，好，好。对不起，对不起，没关系，没关系。Okay, now let's do some practice. Please read the picture and choose A, B, C. Which one is a proper word? The first one. Ah,、uh, they looks like they are greeting with each other. In this case, ah,、uh, only one person. So we should choose. Uh, I already saw your answer. Correct. Well done. We should choose B. 你好，你好。And now let's look at this one. So many students, right? Ah,、uh, more than one student. So in this case, we should use. Well done. We should choose A. 你们好。你们好。Okay, the last one. Ah,、uh, their boyfriend and girlfriend. Maybe the boy did something wrong. So in this case, he should say, "Good." Oh, he did something wrong. So he should say sorry, right? Sorry is C. Good. 对不起，对不起。Okay. 你好，你好，你们好，你们好
，对不起，对不起。Okay, these are what we learned today. Today we learned, uh, we know something about Chinese. And now we know we have learned eighteen 韵母 and fourteen 声母 We know, uh, this one is character, 汉字汉字 and 拼音拼音拼音 is used to, uh, tell us how to read 汉字拼音 consists of three parts. They are 声母声母韵母 Ring and Sheng Diao Sheng Diao, the three parts. And we also learned some basic Ring Mu. They are A, O, E, E, U, U, and R, right? And we have learned some uh, 14 shengmu, shengmu. They are bo, bo, po, po, mo, mo, bo, bo, de, de. Tuh,tuh,nuh,nuh,ge,ge,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke,ke
Okay, do you have more questions about today's class? Or you should read like all round your lips. All 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 round your lips. All This, this we say it. Chug, this, chug, chug. The class start from five o'clock. In the afternoon, Beijing time. Do you think you should be able to do this? 你有 have more questions about today's class? Okay, if you don't have class. See you next time. Goodbye.